All right, here's a question I'm gonna ask. Are we doing church right now? Just asking this question has made some people really angry with me. And I'd like to point out as it's just a starter that we're doing both school and church online. And no one has a problem with saying online schooling isn't the same as going to school. And I agree with that, and I'm a homeschooling mom. It's not the same. So if you're not offended by people saying online schooling isn't the same as school, then don't be offended by people saying online church isn't church. And that being said, here's my thoughts on church right now. My thoughts have evolved on this, and given more time, they probably are gonna evolve even further. The first week church closed, I totally agreed. And in fact, I tried to convince my dad to cancel his church, and I was worried about him preaching. He's in his 70s, he has serious health problems, and I tried to convince him to close his church because like everyone else, I did panic. I mean, when your government panics and all the parties actually agree on something, and that something they agree on is panic, then yeah, I felt some panic. And it didn't help that when I went to the grocery store, they were basically out of everything. We were told it was gonna be a three week shutdown, and that should only be two weeks, but people were gonna to go to Florida over the first week, so we had to spread it out to three weeks. And I was a little annoyed about that third week at the time, not gonna lie. At the time, I saw it like closing down church the same way you would for an ice storm. It's about making sure people are safe and that's totally fine. But the three weeks came and went. Now we're more than a month and things are being canceled that are supposed to happen at the end of the summer. There are some political parties that are talking about not opening doors to churches for 12 to 18 months. So that makes me think we need to stop and we need to ask ourselves some questions such as what is church? And can church actually be done online? I've been helping my dad record his sermons and I actually really enjoy doing that. And he, he's had some really great outcomes. He has really large audiences and the audiences he have would not even have fit into his church if it was open. That's amazing. Clearly God is working. And it also shows that online ministry is real ministry. And that's encouraging since that's the ministry I've been doing for a while now. I think the church should in the future keep its online ministry going because obviously it's needed. But the question is, is it church? Well, what is church? Is church a building? I mean, do we have to be in a church building in order to do church? I don't think so. And actually, personally, I think I might even be done with that model of church. I don't know, I'm actually kind of confused right now about how I feel about it. But I mean, there's a chance I don't attend a church service in a church building after this. I don't know, I kind of go back and forth on that. But I definitely do not think church has to be a service in a building. Church does have elements though that are needed. One, communion. Two, baptism. And three, meeting together. These three things are essential to church. My personal journey with church hasn't been easy and there have been many times I wanted to leave and just have my personal relationship with God and not be part of any church. And there's so many amazing pastors online. My Monday podcast list is most of the sermons which I love. And it would be really easy for me to listen to their sermons and not bother with meeting together. In fact, before all of this started, I was actually getting to the point where Saturday nights were difficult because I was feeling so stressed with all the fears I have about just attending church on Sunday. And I've been going to church every week since I was a month old. So if I went just with what I want, what I enjoy, this new church 
where we don't actually have to see anyone and I can pick whatever pastor I feel like listening to. I can sit in my own comfortable home. That's actually the perfect church for my comfort zone. So then why am I upset that this is our new version of church if it actually works great for me? Because it's not church. The church service isn't church. It's not like the pastor and the worship team are church and the rest of us are the audience. We, all of us, are the church. What we've done is brought the church service online. And like I said, that has some great benefits. But that's a church service. It's not church. Why do we meet together? Because that's what we're commanded to do. Now, do I think we should be meeting in large groups with hundreds of people packed into small space? No, like I said, there's a possibility I'm done with that for life. But we do need to meet together because that's church. Maybe we need to go back to how it was in the start with a few families meeting together in homes, really digging into the Bible together. I mean, going really deep. No flashy show, just opening the Bible and falling in love with God again. To me, that sounds like the perfect church. But we can't continue to watch a service online and call it church because that's what we're doing and it's not right. Church is meeting together. Church is having communion together. Church is baptizing new believers publicly. Look, if you're part of the team putting services online, thank you. I know it's not easy getting the camera set up for the perfect spot with all the good lighting. Then the dog starts barking halfway through the recording, so you have to stop and then you have editing to do. Kids don't want to stay quiet for that length of time. It takes to record. And then the internet. The internet goes out when you're trying to upload. For me, every single time. We've had a lot of internet problems over here. Look, I get it, it's not easy, but it is necessary and everyone is thankful for what you're doing. Please hear that from me. Saying that this is not church is not an attack on you and please don't think that it is. Like I said, I've been busy doing the exact same thing ever since this started. I actually spent today editing for someone in the States I've never met. And last night I was up till 12.30 at night editing something for somebody in the States that I've never met. What you're doing is ministry. It's essential ministry that the church should be doing more of. It's just not church. That's all I'm saying. Okay, let me just share a funny story to end this. A few years ago, I was struggling to get my kids to eat vegetables. So I made mashed cauliflower. I thought it tasted really good. But my kids were not fooled. This is not mashed potatoes. And they were right. I should have just told them I made mashed cauliflower. Calling it a different name and trying to convince my kids it was mashed potatoes didn't help the situation. So here's the thing. I should have just said, we're not having mashed potatoes today. We're having mashed cauliflower today and it's really good and you should try it. Like, we're not having church right now. Churches are closed. But we have a great online ministry we'd like you to be a part of. Just, let's be honest. I'm Lauralee Siemens. For more podcasts, videos, and blogs, check out lauraleesiemens.com.